So when you're driving something 55 feet long and 24,000 pounds, travel can get stressful. In today's video, we have to overcome six travel day hurdles in just one day. First, we have to fit this massive RV into an RV dump station that I think was built for a Tesla. Second, we have to continue on to tow this RV thousands of feet out of the steepest canyon in the United States. No guardrails, it's straight down, yeah. Third, we have to squeeze into this mom and pop gas station to put fuel in our truck. Second curb of the day here. Because there aren't any truck stops around here. Fourth, we have to cross our fingers that we fit into this tiny parking lot at an epic hot spring that Marissa wanted to see along the way to our next campground. Fifth, we have to find a place to fill our water tanks because we don't have any water for the next campground we're going to. And sixth, and honestly, most challenging hurdle out of all these. We've been saying we're going to a campground, and it is, but we've got to fit our massive RV into this tiny, narrow roaded, heavily wooded campground in Stanley, Idaho, with no reservations at all. Well, so far they're all gone. So yeah, we're just gonna show up. And even if we didn't have any of these hurdles, I mean, we're traveling almost 300 miles today. RVing is exciting, but we never said it was easy. It's time to let go and get going. Hurdle number one. There's an inside and an outside track. Neither one looks great. Oh, it's gonna be tight. <laughs> Is the truck gonna hit now? Um, yes. Yeah. What? The front's not. All right, I'm gonna back up. I've got another foot or two here. I can squeeze that. I don't really have any room over here though. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing's tight. I think I can get out the other side. I think that was okay when I scoped it. Oh, the tightest one we've ever done. Oh my goodness. All right, hurdle number one. Good. <laughs> that was tight. All right, hurdle number one's in the books. Hurdle number two, all we have to do is drive our RV out of the steepest canyon in the United States. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so this is seven miles of this. And this is the lower grade stuff. It's probably like a 4% right now. And it goes, I mean, it's felt like at least a 7, 8% grade on some of the stuff going out. It's a long haul. <laughs> Feels like a very long seven miles. <laughs> no guardrails on this side over here by Marissa. It's straight down. It's straight down, yeah. Yeah, that's Snake River down there, buddy. Well, you you, work for it, you get to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I think hurdle number two is out of the way. Now we just got to watch our fuel and make sure we make it to a gas station. <laughs> that, that took us down to about half a tank. What about over there? Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it over there. Okay. The whole plan was to come here. Now I got to turn around somewhere. I'm just saying right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm Second curve of the day here. Oh wow. Everybody hold on. Hopefully my leaf springs are not broken from all these curves I'm jumping. Check curve one baby. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. No, we didn't run out of fuel, but <laughs> it's still stressful here. I'm blocking this other pump, but maybe they'll get it. So I intentionally picked this moment, this smaller gas station because I saw that there were these pumps in the back, which is how we made the wrong turn. I thought that was the pumps. It's apparently a car wash that was not on Google Earth. Why not check this out? <sighs> okay, let's keep jumping curbs. Okay, they look okay over there. I think the leaf springs look okay. What are you doing, Hensley? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, hopping on each foot a hundred times. Why? 
and stretch him. All right, good idea. What a mess. That's the secondary part of hitting curbs is like, what's gonna move around in the rig? <laughs> I think we're okay. Come on, buddy. They're very different. <laughs> Squeegee on it. Not out of here yet. Let me make sure I'm out of here before I celebrate. All right. <laughs> Hurdle number three done. Next stop, Hot Springs. Yeah. <laughs> I did 100 double cats. Good girl. I'm proud of you. Let's run this narrow no shoulder, curvy mountainous highway pretty much the rest of the day. So that wasn't even a hurdle, that's just a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so we voted one of the best places in the US we were going, so it'll be worth it. I looked at Google Maps, it was very jagged. Um, that usually does not mean it's a nice smooth road. That means you're gonna be doing some, there's gonna be some mountains today. Another bonus. Traffic in the mountains to be one of the hurdles today. <laughs> Added to the list. Wow, they like their mountains out here. My goodness. Every parking lot is packed. I've seen 100 RVs in the last five, 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you blame them? I mean, it's so beautiful. Like the water and the mountains. The camping is just such a hack. Oh my goodness. Line getting out of here. Are we coming out this way? I mean, that line is like two miles long. <laughs> and it's not a wreck. That's just, just regular traffic. They're directing traffic at the end, letting people go and come. That's how they directed me to go in. <laughs> They're going to be there forever. They're going to be there forever. Was, uh, <laughs> took a few years off the old ticker, I think. You got anything for stress eating in here? I just want something with chocolate or something. Bar right in here, I think. Uh, nah, whatever. That'll do. One of my fears is that we wouldn't have a great spot to park. And I would say that is definitely, definitely validated here. So we're heading to do one of Marissa's favorite things. The weather, it's not perfect for it. <laughs> it's like 92 degrees, I think. So this used to be, or still is, a campground. They shut it down to the public. They said people were just uh, abusing it or whatnot. Yeah, this used to be a go-to campground to walk to this hot springs from the campground. It would be really cool. I'm hot. Is... Yeah, I got good news for you, buddy. We're heading to a hot spring. <laughs> Tight parking, mountain turns, all the hurdles we've gone through aside. This is, uh, this is beautiful. That's perfect. Oh my goodness. Isn't this awesome? It's like a hot springs waterfall. Wow. Is it awesome? When you haven't had a hot shower in like a week from dry camping. So, so Ticket, no dents, hurdle number four, check. On to hurdle number five. Welcome to Stanley. Population is 63. The 
but my goodness, those 63 people have <laughs> the best view ever. Every house How here. How do you become one of those 63? I don't know. Every house here is facing the Sawtooth Mountains, as it should. Fresh water dump. They both do it? That's fresh water up there. This is the dump. We don't need the dump. We just need the fresh. Oh my goodness. Nobody does this. This fresh water and the dump are spread out enough where you, while you're getting fresh water, you're going to block in the dumpers. Genius. Hurry up. Let's see. There's always a little bit of anxiety when you pull up and there's somebody else here. And then you know they'll pick your favorite spot every time. Yeah. On. I really don't know why right now. That gulch isn't far from here. They may be riding their bikes over there, babe. Oh my goodness. You're the clamp. <laughs> Feel good, huh? So much pressure. It feels good, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dad be irritated. This feels really good. <laughs> that was hurdle number five. Checked it off. But when you're going for a first come, first serve campsite, You'll be in these situations where you're on the road or you're filling up your water, dumping your tanks. You're right next to somebody because our first come first serve is six minutes over here. Mm -hmm. And you're both kind of looking at each other like, yeah. yeah, we both know we're going for that. Yep. <laughs> and this trailer beat us out of there and Russell's like, there they go. Because it never fails. How many times does that happen? Well, yeah, you're I, staring each other down like we're. It actually happens way more than you think it would. We're about to go <laughs> for the same. And it literally, you'll you'll pick the same spot and you'll see them pulling in and you're like, that's the spot I yeah. wanted. This is hurdle number six. Our final hurdle for the day. Don't say that. <laughs> that. I was probably most Why worried. Why would you say that? I was probably most worried about this, honestly, over everything else because we don't have a lot of control over this one at all. Being a first come first serve. Well, so far they're all gone. The good news is there are sites, but only the double sites are left, and the double sites cost double. Don't like paying double, <laughs> but I also don't know that I feel like driving around. For a so Nathan did the old go check it out by foot when you don't want to drive around and see. One site left. One. One. The problem is it's. I don't know, it looks pretty tight. Let's do it. Really? Yeah, let's do it. We're the biggest rig in here by 10 feet. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing I gotta say. We're the biggest rig by 10 feet. It's 22 or 44 for the double lot on the sign, I look. 44, okay. Let's let's see if we can save 22 bucks to get into this one. Back, 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 right. Ooh, we're gonna try to get these over. I don't know. I even got the truck in. <laughs> ah, this is pro grade. Look at this parking job. I'm proud. We did good, Marissa. We did good. We couldn't come back anymore because the rear tire, but we want to get back as far as we could and we wanted this to come down. So this should clear. It should be good. We made it. You did great on the back end, Faye. How far? Yeah. 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 Look at this backdrop. I know, right? Another bonus hurdle. This is an absolute mess. And it looks like our fridge bounced open somehow. It's on the lock setting. I don't even know what happened there. Gotcha. I've seen worse. <laughs> I think our batteries are still at 100%. Second bonus hurdle, done. All six hurdles I planned. Done. We did it, girl. By the skin of our teeth. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> we might see the mountains out our windows. Look at this. 
Sawtooth Mountains are over here behind a lot of trees. But you can feel it. You can feel it. You, you can feel them over there. <laughs> so coming in, it looks like we, you can see on this back corner back here and really up, up the top. But I think, I think Corian from Vinegar Someday actually has a shirt that says this, but I think that'll buff out. <laughs> but if you want to see if we scratch our rig to pieces or not, getting out of here, tune in next week. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> And if you want to see another site that comes to mind where it was a tight fit, I remember in our Airstream, we were in Riley Campground in Denali National Park. Even with our 30-foot Airstream, that spot was tight, but it was well worth it. Definitely check this video out. Well, that is our journey for today. Until next video. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.